Hello, welcome back to another installment of How To Wednesday by Lee Lacey. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting over still a little flu from last week, which I couldn't do another one of uh, one of our how to's. But getting back to it, a lot of y'all liked it. Uh, hopefully, I'll do better this time. I'm do better with a focus. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start everything off and tell you we're gonna do Papa Sailor Man. Um, he's an American classic and uh, there's a lot that <coughs> people like and don't like about him, but I thought it'd be something a little different compared to Mickey Mouse. And to start off, we're going to do your basic, we're just going to do your circle. So, just do a basic circle first off. And don't be exactly in the middle of the paper. Kind of be off the side. And this would be a giant circle either with him. And uh, this is going to be his head. This is the basis. This is what most of them are always based around. Now this is going to be a little bit different, and sorry if you get sidetracked, but this is just what we're going to do. Um, next we're going to try to get in so he have his chin, because he got a giant chin in there. So we're going to pretend he's going to have another, let's say kind of like a, a moon, or um, the, the baby circle, right next to the big circle. Uh, it kind of looks like a nose. See? A nose with a big head. Now... With that, we need to have a much larger one, and we need it so it could be a closer part to his chin. And what we're going to do, let's see, just kind of go with it. It's going to look kind of like a football. There we go. And you just, this not be perfect. None of these have to be the way everybody would expect them to be. We're just going to have fun and see what we can create. It's not a perfect football, as you can tell. My football's kind of oblong. I am doing this sideways again, so excuse me if it doesn't come out exactly right. But uh, so we're going, we're getting closer to an object here, to what he might look like. Now, why I did this is because we want to level out, and I want to get kind of a base structure of what's going on with his face. Um, down here, well, instead of rushing down here, I'll get some measurements up here for you. So we want. To him have a, uh, a real nose okay so with that we need to make a circle make a circle within this circle okay and uh, kind of a combination of, of the two right here it's not gonna be perfect either but you can do whatever you want see it's kind of a half circle of that and then do another one right down here uh, kind of go around with it okay kind of got like a little mini chair or a weird looking key this is what his nose is going to be. Right here, this is going to be all his nose. And this right here is going to be his chin. His chinny chin chin. And that this is why I did this, so it would be a lot easier for you to kind of see how the shapes get there. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to get kind of uh, a facial feature, so we're going to get an eye in there. And to level out, draw a straight line on top of his nose, the roof of his nose, going across. Okay? And with that, we know where his eye wants to be. His eye's going to be right here. And we're just going to do, or I'm going to do, we're all trying to do it together, uh, his eyeball. This is his eyeball. Okay, there's Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. He's looking at us one eye. Because, of course, the other eye, he's winking with us. And that's right down here. We're going to th hmm, think of, if you want, think of a snake. I know it's not the best idea, but... We'll say it's a snake. Um, you can probably come up with a better name than that than me, but uh, we'll say a snake is a, at his eye. That's why. <laughs> uh, the real reason why, uh, here we'll go ahead and add this to help out. There we go. And think of that as a hook. A hook coming down on his eye. That's his eyebrow coming down. Because what originally happened to Popeye, uh, a lot of people didn't realize, um, of course his eye got smashed in, but when he was a kid, he wasn't a bully, he was, he, he didn't really get bullied on, he just had issues where he always wanted to be the bigger man, and uh, was kind of, uh, had a big ego, and he still had an ego when he got older, but when he was younger, he thought it was tough, and he got punched in the eye when he was young, and he never opened up. So, he became known as Popeye. Um, that's originally where it came from, and uh, it just grew from there. He always got in fights. 
So he, neither is he a bully or neither is he really a, a hero. He's just somebody that likes to fight. He likes to have a, a big ego. So, any case, getting back to it, here's his two eyes. Here's his eyes with a closed eye. And I am doing the opposite. This is, uh, his eye actually is closed um, on the left, uh, on the, uh, the opposite side. He, uh, his left eye is usually open and his right eye is closed. Where, um, whoops, did I say that right? Um, yes, well, I, never mind, I did do it right. Okay, usually I, sometimes I mess up on that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's his uh, left eye, I'm sorry, his left eye is what's closed and his right eye now I'm getting thrown off. In any case, one of his eyes just gets smashed in. <laughs> Wherever I, everybody knows who he is. And so let's get back to the actual drawing instead of me talking. Uh, okay, so we're going to have some little wrinkles because this is older, this is older Popeye. So we're going to add two little lines right here that kind of emphasize on his eye being closed. And now he's got a little wrinkle. Because there's not much on a cartoon. They don't, we don't, they don't like to add too much definition and give detail because visually the image is giving you um, an explanation of what's going on without words. So the more lines you have on here, the more it's trying to, kind of, trying to come to your head and explain what's happening. And okay, so we're gonna line this up now. So to keep, keep straight with this, and if I showed this the beginning, sorry, I'm a little thrown off this week. Um, do it right in a, an X. Now we're talking about our Y and X axis. Well, go straight down. That'll kind of measure up for you where the other eye needs to be, uh, right there. And with that, that's going to help us out down here. So with the bottom roof of his nose, go straight across with another line. Okay. That's going to um, be the top edge of his ear. And his ear, we're going to do like another circle. Uh, Nothing special, just another circle. Oval. Maybe we should say oval instead of circle. And I, I just kind of messed up on it. Actually, it needs to be off the line. So, off the line. And then, you just add these two lines in there. It's like a, a wiggly T. Uh, that's your inside of his ear. You might have some earwax in there, but we don't know. Alright, so, we got it closer. We need, we need another eyebrow, because this is his kind of eyebrow right here coming up. We need an eyebrow up here. And with his eyebrow up here, you want to get right around about this section and give him a nice little curve. Actually, we need a little curve right here. There's a little baby curve. And right above it, we're going to do another curve. Actually, two. We'll do two just the same. And that's his hair. But he's got two little hair pieces that stick out. And he's usually not bald in a sense. He just liked having a close shave cut because of military. And he always kept it that way. So he had a little bit of hair just to emphasize that uh, he does have hair on his head. He's not bald. He just close shave. So we've got kind of everything lined up. This is not too bad. Um, now we're going to add a line. To, we'll do another circle right here. This circle is just going to be a quickie. You can bring it around here. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just a, a, we'll say upside down or sideways horseshoe. Okay, There's a horseshoe laying on his head. Good luck. There we go. Good luck symbol. And with his good luck symbol, right about right here in the middle, it's going to be a more of a circle than an oval. And that's going to be for his hat. Because he's got his sailor's hat. And the reason he has his sailor's hat is because he lived on the docks. Um, and when he got out of school, he went into the military because of his fighting. And he never learned. So they put him into military school. And from there, he just became really well known. He boxed, and he was a perfect fighter. I mean, that's what you want when you go in the military. You want a fighter. So, excuse me, I knocked the, the tripod. We're going to add some lines down here to emphasize with that that button, that buckle piece. These go just two. These lines can just be vice versa of the little line you had in here. Um, yeah, that's sorry. That's the best explanation I have right now. And then back here, we're going to add his hat. And with his hat, we're going to kind of oval with this circle right here. Bring it out and around. So make this like an egg. So turn your circle into an egg. Uh, think Easter egg. Bunny rabbit. 
breakfast. So we got this piece, and now we need the back part of the cap because it creases in. It's not just like a, a baseball cap. It has a tail end. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a small version of that. So there's an egg behind his egg. Or he's got a. Looks like he's got smashed in the head with a iron, and he's got a boo boo. We'll say that. He's got a big boo boo right there. So with that, we created the hat. Um, and this is probably supposed to be more circular right here, but for sake, we'll say it's that. Now we're getting closer. We're going to get to the mouth and the pipe. And this is taking a lot longer. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how long it is right now, but this is much longer than Mr. Mickey Mouse. So let's see. What should we do first? Pipe? Yeah, it's easy. Let's do the pipe. Well, for me, uh, hopefully this is easy. Okay. So from out from his nose, do two straight lines. Actually, his chin, I should say. Do two straight lines. Uh, all right. It looks like he's got a cigarette right now or something else happening. But he's got two little lines like a stick. Next, we need his pipe. So from that, do two lines that uh, are parallel, um, parallel together, uh, vice versa of the other lines, so a little bit thicker. Uh, don't have to be perfect. And in those two lines, make two circles. Okay, so now we got a sphere. And that sphere is his pipe now. Oh, there we go. His little pipe. Because he had a wood he had a little wooden pipe. He didn't uh he liked to smoke his magic stuff in there. Who knows? He might even put um some spinach in there. He loves spinach, so Alright, now we're into the mouth. Now the mouth is a little bit more crazy and just like Mickey Mouse's mouth, um, once you do it, it's there and uh, it's, uh, it's what gives the character the most emotion coming from the face sometimes. It tells you exactly what he's kind of moving around and going on inside there. So, I'll do my best trying to help you out here. Um, what we're going to do is like a half mouth, or I mean, I'm sorry, a half circle. So. Kind of like how we're doing up here, we're going to opposite. We're going to throw them around. It's another egg happening here. But this egg has a swoop in it. Has a something that's been taken out of the egg or it's been chopped into. See? Ah, we can kind of see his, his expression coming through. All right, so now parallel to this line, you want another one that's going to be connected right to the nose. So go right with it. And come around. Doesn't be perfect, just whatever. Just follow that line and come around. And then, same thing, we'll do that below. So now we've got kind of two lines happening. You know, I've got, 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 got. Right? Okay, so now we're going to get some teeth in here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to follow these lines right around. Just like that. But we're going to cut off right there, just kind of give some gap. And uh, lastly, is his tongue. Now his tongue, we're going to make kind of like waves. Um, this one's not as straight on, this is more flat. So, we're going to first first wave, right? And then we're going to add a second wave. Um, I'm just calling on waves because I'm thinking about the ocean right now and how nice it would be to be on the beach compared to be next to snow. In any case, um, this is the tongue. In his mouth, his teeth, his nose, his eyes, his eyebrows, hair, hat, ear, pipe, chin. We got Popeye. All right, so now I got that laid out, we're going to go ahead and color this in so you can see the real Popeye. Well, we're not going to color in. We're going to darken the lines up. First, let's go ahead and just color his eye in. Popeye. There we go. Go, 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 go. That was his sound, and um, I'm not sure why that was his sound, but that's what he was known for. And we go vice versa, get his other eye in there. Get his eyebrow. His other eyebrow. His little wrinkle marks. Then from here, just follow around with his nose. This is going to be his nose. See, there's his nose. Go ahead and put his hair in there. 
Alright. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in some stuff. This is his upper lip. Coming around his mouth. Oh, yes. Alright, aren't we doing a great job? Yes. We are doing a good job. Coloring the waves. Where's his mouth? Right here's his teeth. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of darken this end so that way you can see his mouth and see what he's talking about. Let's see what's inside there. It's probably some spinach in between his teeth. He just loves it so much. Um, what we'll do is ear. So his ear, see, the line actually come right here. So we're gonna go around like that because the line you don't want to you don't want his ear to be on smash on his face unless he got in a bad fight and he's got cauliflower ears which probably would make sense too so if you want it close by hey that, that works too um now we're going to do his chin and his chin's kind of actually a little bit more full so we're going to go around and then we're going to give a little blonk um i'm just saying blonk but we have a little denture something to dent in with and his chin come right around there see Popeye, because he's got a big, big chin. Um, I'm not sure what his chin is actually supposed to be like in real life. It almost makes you think he has a giant beard or he has something inside his mouth. And probably, he probably has spinach right here in his mouth that he keeps in daily. Or, uh, you know, it may not even be spinach. It probably is tobacco. But uh, since how things have changed, tobacco is out, <laughs> I would say it... Well, we won't say it's tobacco, we'll say it's good healthy spinach for the people that grow up nice and strong. Um, we're gonna, there's the other side of his head. Let's see, uh, if we're going to do, bring his head around right there. It's a little oval. This is not exactly, he's supposed to be a little bit more circle right here. We'll bring the hat, uh, should we do that? Yeah, we'll do the hat. Uh, bring that around. Bring that, circle that in, and we're gonna bring his hat. Now, don't go all the way with this. Um, you want to go like that, because that way you can have his actual hat. You can kind of put this in, so you can see there's actually a little end cap to that piece. Now, it's something a little bit different. Um, we can color this in if you want. Because that is black. Um, sometimes, I've even seen blue ones before. But there's all types. You know? Got this, got his teeth. Got his each mark. I'm trying to see what else we got here. Um, let me erase some stuff here so we can see a little bit better. I kind of just went with the whim. I didn't care about the lines. Uh, so, sometimes just doing that is a lot better because you're just not putting any, you're like, hey, just whatever occurs from it, um, just let, let it naturally happen. Uh, sometimes the most natural way it comes out is the best, because then you know for yourself, you're like, hey, I didn't have to go and fix up anything. I didn't have to go erase. I didn't have to, uh, I got to do this all by myself. And um, as well, you might create something on your own that somebody, have, somebody else hasn't, and uh, that's the best is when you're able to do that when you're able to make something that nobody else has even made before um that's a goal for i think everybody in life everybody wants to be the person that has made something um you know, we all we all can dedicate our knowledge to whoever came up with fire because we all will need to know fire and um uh, that when whatever whoever it was whatever it was uh way back then um, should be more acknowledged than uh, most of anybody today just because of that one reason but uh, we don't I don't even know the name I don't even know if we know the name but in any case me and Babern we got Mr. Papa Sailor Man right here and you got every little feature going around I hope this helped out it's not exactly like Popeye but none of mine are done exactly the way they're I guess they're supposed to be made but uh, I hope you enjoyed um, and I hope uh, this was a enjoyable one 
compared to the Mickey Mouse or just as enjoyable? Hopefully it wasn't less enjoyable. If it is, I'm sorry for taking your time. <laughs> and you're always welcome to comment and give me your opinions. Tell me um, if there is something you'd like to see drawn. Um, whatever the case, I hope you do like it. And I will be back for next week. Uh, you know, draw, uh, draw the have fun. So I will see you then.